To improve estimates of derivatives found using finite difference approximations, we could use more data points, or we could reduce the step size between data points, that is, reduce h. Richardson's extrapolation is a method that combines both of these techniques to obtain more precise estimates of derivatives using finite difference equations. Consider, again, the Taylor expansions that were used to find the two-point central difference estimate of the first derivative. This time, we'll truncate after the fourth derivative term, and when we perform the subtraction, we eliminate both the second derivative and the fourth derivative terms, but we retain a term containing the third derivative. We arrive at an estimate for the first derivative that has a truncation error of order h to the fourth. This is the same result that we got before, except that now we're keeping the third derivative term. Next, we do the same thing, but we cut the interval h in half. So we need data at xi plus one half and xi minus one half. This estimate for the derivative also contains a third derivative term. Then we multiply this equation by four and subtract the previous result to eliminate the third derivative term. We can then solve for an estimate of the first derivative that contains only values of f of x at i plus one, i minus one, i plus one half, and i minus one half. This has a truncation error of order h to the fourth. This is actually a four point central difference formula instead of a two point central difference formula and it has a truncation error of order h to the fourth instead of a truncation error of order h squared. Similar applications of Richardson's extrapolation can be used to eliminate higher order derivatives by combining derivative estimates for the other finite difference equations for different derivative orders. MATLAB has two built-in functions that can also help us to find derivatives. The diff command calculates the difference between successive points in a vector. If we call the vector y to the diff command, and y contains nine scalar elements, then the result will contain eight scalar elements, with each element being the difference between two successive points in the vector. We can also calculate higher order differences by adding a second input argument that's an integer. Diff y comma two does the same thing as taking the diff of the diff of y. If you compare these differences to the formulas in table 6.3, you'll see that diff y will give us the values of the numerators that we need for the two point difference formulas for the first derivatives, and diff y2 will give us the numerators that we need for the three point difference formulas for the second derivatives. The polydir command is another MATLAB built-in function that calculates the coefficients of the derivative of a polynomial with coefficients in the vector p. So if you have a set of data that you fit to, say, a Lagrange or a Newton interpolating polynomial, and you know the polynomial coefficients, you can also differentiate that polynomial using the polydir command. In the next few videos, we'll talk about numerical integration techniques.